YouTube world. Quick voiceover at the beginning here. This is still an experiment. This is experiment number two, following on from my last video called Molten, which turns out quite nice in the end, actually. Um, so I've tweaked my consistencies. I've thinned everything down here. I'm, I'm doing this over the top of an old ring pour. This is my house paint mixture here, which has been I thinned down quite quite a lot actually. It doesn't leave a mound at all. It's this one, pure brilliant white silk emulsion for interior walls and ceilings. Got this in Home Bargains. My colours, I can't tell you what these are because honestly they're leftovers. Um, I tend to dump several different colours in same pots just in case you know i don't i don't like throwing things away um i thinned these down as well so they don't they leave a mound and they go leave a mound and they go leave a mound and they go uh, so these are my pour medium and a couple of squirts of gloss varnish liquidex um I also got my 24k gold that's got nothing in it bar my pouring medium so everything have i covered everything i've got no gloves left so i'm gonna have to get my hands dirty actually if you've got these are really good <laughs> um they're not quite that good but um they do get paint off your hands quite quickly did I get those? Being cute. Right, I need to go and turn my dryer off because it's dri dri driving me mad. Okay, let's have fun. Get those out of the way. So somebody asked me the other day how close I hold my torch to my painting and um, it's a really good question because I wasn't near my studio at the time so I couldn't measure it but I said about 12 centimetres which is way up here but it's not it's more like four or five but obviously I go quite quickly across and where I see a particularly troublesome troublesome bubble I'll quickly just go up and down. Just shook a load of paint on there. I like. There's a couple of bubbles. So, I'm trying to remember what I did last. This is um, about two weeks <laughs> since I did the first test. It's not back to back. So, you know, I'm I'm winging it. I'm winging it. Let's see how we go, shall we? So I'm going for negative space. beginning to happen here. 
Maybe I could even thin my paints down a little bit more. So this is quite thick, my gold. Siphoned off some white, some squirts, back in my spoon goes in the paint. Actually just wipe that off each time. the spoon in the paint. <laughs> oh it's this is so relaxing to do i'm not even thinking about it just great lovely shapes don't want to overdo it. Well, when you reuse a canvas, um, it's not got any give in it. So you can just see the painting underneath. It's not kind of, it's not bounced back, which is not so brilliant. And that 24K gold, I don't want this to go too mad. 
stay where it is. It might be that the base coat even needs to be thinner. You just don't know, do you? So at the moment, I'm experimenting, okay? I will carry on experimenting. And when I'm happy with the dried results, which hopefully this will be better than the last one, I'll then be able to tell you uh, better instructions as to how, what works, what doesn't work. So you can go away and try it yourself. I certainly don't want to give you guys anything to do that doesn't work. But so far, not too bad. So hello, I'm back with the dried results. Um, so this was the first one that I've worked on over the top to cover those awful, the splitting and the cracks and I, I do this, I do this to relax, whether, regardless of whether or not this painting gets sold or gets put up on a wall or gets put in the bottom of a box. I don't, I don't do it for those reasons, I do it because it calms my mind. Um, going through an awful lot of stressful things at the moment so yeah that's why I do it so these ones <coughs> obviously this was the video now this was done over a wing pour and you, you can basically you can see what's underneath it but I'm okay with that too because it's lovely and glossy won't need a varnish at all <laughs> but I'm gonna do my thing it dried okay, but there's something about it. Now this one, um, again, was over a ring pour. I lost the video for this. I don't know what happened to it. So this is going to have some work on it. But look, and I didn't do this on purpose. I don't know if you can see. A little phoenix, phoenix head there. This could possibly work as a diptych. But the, the the one that I really like, I'm going to get it on camera, is this. Let's move that up. It's not because I have my coasters. I like that. Let me show you my coaster that I just did. See that? Done a whole set. <coughs> Another one. I just left over paint every now and then I dump them <laughs> I dump them in a little cup and do a load of coasters. What are we gonna do? So there's an awful lot going on here and whereas with this one I just dabbled with a white pen, I am gonna go full on here with white, even probably break out the brush. Because this is really heavy and I want to knock it back. And this is really heavy and I want to knock that back. So quick time lapse. Just stopping the time lapse here. <laughs> I can only be myself on YouTube, and I'm thinking this is rubbish. Ah, but then I thought, well, let's just keep going. Do you know every single painting I do, it reaches a point where I think 
this is just so bad stop if i could show you the half done paintings i've got around my studio um it would be a little bit of an eye opener but i'm just i'm just going to keep going and that's what you need to do you need to just keep pushing through because at the moment it doesn't look very good um and I stopped the time lapse because I think, oh, I don't, I really don't want to bore you all. But whether or not this gets finished or not, I don't know. But all I've done is I've, I've just done white outlines here that I'm going to fill in with a brush. Um, this one, the, the base, I will probably make those kind of three D by putting some shading in and making that really quite elaborate. So. I can think to myself, oh, I'll just give up, move on. What's the point? Um, <laughs> but I'm going to push through for a little bit longer. So I can't say that I'm overly happy with this, but I really did push it as far as I think I, I could. Um, whether or not this video sees the light of day, I still don't know. I don't want to bore you all to tears. But anyway, this is the finished one. And I appreciate you um, sticking with me and watching and subscribing and commenting. It's really appreciated. Thank you.